he and I guess enticed her to share her phone number. Jean Williams says in 2008, when his daughter was 12, her 22 year old volunteer golf coach at Faith Academy began texting her. That coach, he says, was William B.J. Squires. This is a 2018 mugshot of him for a tinted windows charge. Williams says he became enraged when he found out what Squires asked his daughter to do. It escalated to uh, him attempting to solicit lewd pictures of herself. Williams filed a report with Mobile Police on February 18, 2009. The report we obtained states the alleged activity started in December 2008 and lists Faith Academy's address as the location. It states the offense being investigated is enticing a child for immoral purposes. We have no idea where our case is. Now we know it went nowhere. The ball was dropped and, and there's no excuse for it. The Mobile County Sheriff's Office, which is now investigating new accusations of sexual misconduct, reviewed the 2009 case file. Sheriff Paul Birch allowed us to read the file and it states the investigation was going to be turned over to federal authorities. The FBI told us it had no record of it and Birch says if it had been turned over, there would be a record. From your understanding, they're just that's where the breakdown occurred from the transfer from it being a state case to a federal case. Somehow the state did not transfer it to the feds. That's what it appears. But again, there's even when that happens, there's some type of follow up, you know, and it's it. Let's just say that happened at some point. The detectives who were working the case should have been following up with the feds to say, hey, what's going on with it? And, you know, but, but that never happened. Squires was never charged, and he has not been charged in connection to the new accusations of inappropriate contact with minors, Birch says his department has received. We're not going to stop until we get to the bottom of it, and because there are just so many complaints. And again, the, the 2009 case is, is sickening because a lot of this could have been stopped. We tried reaching Squires for comment in person and by phone, but did not hear back. Last week, investigators raided his home and are now analyzing items like his computer that were seized. Action Williams says is long overdue. I took a big sigh of relief for our community stalkers. Andrea Ramey, NBC 15 News.